we have a very very special guest speaker from Matika, and he's all the way from Ohio. So unfortunately, I cannot introduce him in person. However, he's going to show us how to convert from the rectangular form to the polar form of a complex number. Be sure to check it out and show us the support. And also, be sure to check out his channel in the description. Hello, this is Fomatica. Check out my channel down in the description. Thanks to Black Pen Red Pen for having me be able to make a video for the, his channel. And in this video, I will show you how to convert complex numbers from rectangular form to polar form. So first, we need to discuss what this even means. Now, if you remember, e to the i theta is just cosine theta plus i sine theta. Right? So, the real part is kind of like the x-axis, right? The imaginary part is kind of like the y-axis, right? So what this is saying, if you remember, on the unit circle, if you have a coordinate cosine of t and then sine of t, you just move theta along the unit circle. So you just move an angle of theta along the unit circle. Now, that's the unit circle. But we're doing this for general r. So what you do is you just scale that distance out until you reach r, and then you traverse the same arc. Right? And then right there is going to be your point z instead of there. So basically meaning you scale the circle out to a radius of r, and then you move theta along that circle. So, a plus bi, right? And then convert it into this polar form. Okay, first what you need to realize is that this is a right triangle that has legs a and b. And from, if you have two sides of a right angle triangle, you know everything else about it. So say this angle is theta right there. Okay? What do we know about it? Well, we know that tangent of theta is equal to b over a. Right? Opposite over adjacent. Then I get theta is going to be the inverse tangent of b over a. Now, what about this distance r right there? Well, you just use Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared, but in this case, it's going to be r squared. And then I get r equals the square root a squared plus b squared. So, that's your circle of radius r that you're moving theta along. And I figured out what the circle's radius is, and I figured out what the angle is. And remember, we just plug it into that. Basically meaning, instead of representing it like that, we plug in for values of r and theta. And if you remember them, it was a square root of a squared plus b squared for the distance and arctangent of b over a for the, um, the angle. So let's do an example. Say z equals negative 1 plus the square root of 3i. Let's draw a picture first. It'll look something like that. Right? So what is the angle going to be? And what's the distance going to be? And remember that this is the... This is negative 1 right there. And that right there is just square root of 3. Okay, so what's the angle going to be? Well, if you know your uh, 
right angle triangle, right? That's really what it is, except you're multiplying everything by 2. And we know everything about this triangle, right? We know that the angle from the x-axis, right? That angle is going to be 2 pi over 3. And we also know that the distance, because we're multiplying everything by 2, is going to be 2. And there we have it. So we have it that this is going to be equal to 2 times e to the i, 2 pi over 3. Now, if you instead did this formula right there, it would also work.